In this video, I will explain you problem from projections of planes, particularly the apparent angle problem. Now, what is this apparent angle and why this is used? That I will explain with the help of one statement. Statement is like this: a rhombus having longer diagonal 60 millimeter and smaller diagonal 30 millimeter rests on one of its corner in HP so that the longer diagonal contained by the plane is inclined at 45 degree to HP and 30 degree to VP. Draw its projection. So this problem is from a rhombus projection of plane. Geometrical shape is a rhombus which has two diagonals smaller as well as longer. So longer diagonal is given 60 millimeter and smaller diagonal 30. Condition is given that it is resting on one of its corner in HP and longer diagonal is contained by the plane is inclined at 45 degree HP and 30 degree to VP. Now this is a rhombus. Shape is rhombus. Now this is a longer diagonal and this is the shorter diagonal. So this is given as 60 millimeter and this is given as 30 millimeter. So when this particular rhombus is resting on corner in HP, condition is given at a time position of rhombus will be like this. Position of rhombus will be like this. So when seen from the top direction, the true shape of rhombus will be developed on horizontal plane HP and the front view will be developed as line view, edge view directly on XY. Now why this is getting developed on XY? Because plane is resting in HP. So whenever it is in HP in VP, the other view, line view will be on XY. Okay, so this is the rhombus, longer diagonal, shorter diagonal. So in the top view, we'll get rhombus. As we know, we have to rotate HP clockwise 90 degree direction. That's why this rhombus will go downward like this. And in the top view, we'll draw a true shape of rhombus considering longer diagonal 60 millimeter parallel to XY. So according to this condition, I will draw the first stage, second stage and third stage. So first stage is to draw the rhombus. So according to this 60 millimeter distance is to be taken horizontal and 30 is to be taken vertical as two diagonals are there. So I will take the distance, I will mark points over here. I will label this point as A. Now two more points are there, 30 millimeter apart, that is shorter diagonal. Now join these two points. Join these two points. Join this also. Then join this. So in the top view, I have drawn a rhombus A, B, C, D. Longer diagonal 60 millimeter, shorter diagonal 30 millimeter. Now, when projections are taken for the front view, we will get edge view or line view on xy itself we will get edge view or line view on xy itself because it is resting so on xy we will get a dash b dash d dash and c dash this is the xy line so first step to draw the top view true shape below xy front view on xy now this particular edge view or line view which is developing on x1 is nothing but surface of a plane. Surface of a plane. So in the second stage we can show surface of a plane inclined at given angle 45 degree to HP. So keeping some distance from the first front view we will mark one point again a dash 
beam will take angle 45 degree will take angle 45 degree we will mark point now on this 45 degree inclination whatever length of this particular front view is there that is diagonal length that we will take and we will draw a line so it is drawn over here e dash e dash whatever this distance is there at that particular distance we will mark center point also now these points are to be projected downward to get the second top view so when surface is inclined here definitely we will get reduced length of diagonal so when projections are taken downward respective points to be projected so this is a b c d join these points again by a dark line join this point by dark line now here when we measure this diagonal ac we will find that this length is reduced this is apparent length this is the regular original length of the diagonal this is apparent length now according to the statement the downward diagonal contained by the plane is inclined at 45 degree to HP and 30 degree to HP. Longer diagonal contained by the plane is making an angle. Here, this is the reduced length of the diagonal that is apparent length. So in the third stage, what we are supposed to do, we have to draw a line inclined at 30 degree to VP and on this inclination line, we have to take this original diagonal length. So to start with this, you can do one thing, draw one more XY line, very faint XY line can be drawn over here. Reference line, keeping some distance from XY so that this diagram will not touch XY. Then take 30 degree inclination with respect to this particular reference line. 30 degree point and then on this 30 degree inclination line, draw a very faint line. Very faint line is to be drawn. Very faint line. Then mark A point somewhere on this inclination line. Somewhere mark A point. Take AC, original length of the diagonal. Keep compulsory. Cut an arc. You will mark one point, C2 point. And this is locus of C. Then from C2, draw one horizontal faint line, very faint line, very faint line is to be drawn. Then keep compass on A, take reduced length of the diagonal, apparent length, keep compass over A, cut an arc, you will get AC, C point you will get. Now same procedure can be used, keeping compass on A, take AB distance, draw arc on this side. Keeping compass on C, taking B distance CB, cut the arc, you will get point B. Likewise, you will get point D. Now join these points. Join these points without any hesitation, dark line. And redraw the second top view. Redraw the second top view over here. See, this is 30 degree, this is 45 degree, so on 30 degree inclination line we have taken the true length of the diagonal AC, we have marked C2 point, from C2 we are drawn on horizontal locus line, locus of C, then how we are getting C? Keeping compass on A, taking AC distance, we'll cut the arc on this horizontal locus line, you will get C point. Then reconstruction part A, B, A, D distances are to be taken. In compass, cut the arc and get this particular second reduced rhombus over here. Now the final stage, take projections from this side, take projections from this side. So wherever we get intersection point, label the points. This is A, so this is A, then D. 
so this is d from c here c from b now join properly taking care of the points a b c d now when we join these points you can see point a is coming on x y as it is mentioned in the statement resting on corner in hp so here point a is coming on x y so this is your original x y line second x1 y1 and this is particularly the y point for this x y line so with the help of this one this is your first stage this is your second stage this is your third stage show dimensions properly taking care of proper system of dimensions this is 60 this is 30 so in this way apparent angle problem can be solved why apparent angle is taken because the longer diagonal is inclined this is the statement given but here we are not getting longer diagonal instead of that we are getting apparent length of the diagonal so directly we cannot take this inclination so that's why we have taken the reference of this first length of the diagonal and we have drawn line inclined at 30 degree thank you